What's up guys, Juggalo23451, and welcome to part 3 slash the final setup of how to set up and install your water cooling loop. Alright, I have everything installed as you can probably tell. I'm trying to move it. Like so. I have the bay res mounted uh, right here, uh, roughly like the fifth one I think, or sixth. I have a funnel. I have the power supply to the computer, which is over here. And um, if you can see, uh, here you go. If you can see this, I have the power supply jumped on the PSU with the green and black wire with just a paper clip. That's all you need to jump start your PSU. Just make sure it's in the green and black wire. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some water. Hopefully not make a mess because my fiance would probably kill me, but let's have a shot. Okay. And you basically you want to fill this all the way to the top. That's what you have to do. You want to fill this thing to the very, 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 very top. Okay. Let me see if I got some more. Okay, I think I have it pretty much to the top where I would want it. But um, basically what you do, it's a slow process and tedious process, but in the end, it's absolutely worth it. What you do, you come over here and uh, basically you turn your PSU off and on on the back. So I'm, I'm not going to show you me doing this, so I'm just going to hopefully it turn on. Okay. Let it run until it goes to about halfway or to the bottom. Okay, then I'm going to stop. Then after I stop, I'm going to come back to my distilled water. I'm going to fill it up to the top again. All right, fill it to the top, let it run again until it goes to the halfway mark, turn on again, and it's not turning on for some reason. I gotta check it out, but I guess you get the gist of that. And uh, comment, subscribe, rate this video, and guys have a great day. Bye.